Hey there, A-Bird Freedom Fam. It's Art with A-Bird Freedom Support, Lake Havasu City, Arizona, back at you again. I had a younger customer ask me yesterday if I missed Alice gear or all-purpose lightweight individual carrying equipment. And I do and I don't. Uh, I think we all had a love-hate relationship with it, especially uh, if you didn't want to wear it and you had to anyway. But that all being aside, one of the things he mentioned was a an issue that could happen when you're moving through some scrub brush or you're loading your equipment in and out of trucks, stacking it in the back of Humvees, um, putting your gear on top of your rucks sometimes, is the Alice clip would actually open up. And then your cartridge belt or the loop on your suspenders if you had your first aid pouch up on the top, which is what this is, it's an individual first aid dressing in this pouch, would come off. So one of the quick easy fixes that I learned 100 years ago, zip tie. So you go ahead and you put your you put your Alice clip on, so you can put it on your equipment. There's plenty of room behind it. You should be able to see it. Ah, there we go. You can slide a zip tie right behind the Alice clip. Does the same thing on your mag pouches. So now you have your Alice clip and you have a thin zip tie at the same time. If your Alice clip comes undone, your equipment won't leave. Um, nobody wants to give CIF any money when they go home. Now, he also asked me about Molly gear because what he had tried to do was take and put a Alice mag pouch onto a rigger's belt. And it works. You can definitely put it on there. But you'll have a lot of slop because there's extra room in the Alice clip. Hopefully you can see that. It'll move up and down. There we go. So, that is one thing that Molly definitely has over it. Now, if you use the zip tie trick again, when you put your Alice pouch on your rigger's belt, you can cinch it down a little bit and then just slide your Alice clip down so that it's not hanging up in the breeze. But with Molly, it's kind of nice. You got that nice snap at the bottom to secure it, but you also usually have a loop on the back of your pouch. So you don't have to just stick it over your rigger's belt, and snap it, ah! it gets all loose. What's nice about it is, is just as if you're threading it in your molly attachment, go ahead and go over your rigger's belt, under your loop, hit your snap, Woo! you're hooked up. Your gear is good to go. So, just a quick couple footnotes on uh, one of the old school tricks that a lot of us used to use with our Alice gear. And uh, that's what prompted the old school woodland boonie. And also, big announcement, the 100 subscriber video on location, the location may have changed. I actually have recently found an even better spot to possibly do it. Still be error correct with an error correct item and error correct uh, clothing. We'll just leave it at clothing. And a little bit of history about the site. And uh, it's still here in the southwest and connected to somebody very cool and very famous. Everybody stay safe. If you have any questions, concerns, thoughts about Alice equipment, or you have any tips and tricks on Molly or Alice, go ahead. When you like, comment, subscribe. Go ahead and uh, add any footnotes you have on this equipment or any other in the comments because knowledge shared is knowledge gained. Knowledge hoarded is knowledge lost. And that's the only deep thought I got for today. Everybody stay safe until we see you again. Out.